Hello there and welcome back to the channel and today uh, we're going to review on the Justice League minifigure based on Jack Snyder's version of Justice League uh, yes the 4 hour movie and this is this were actually made by Sin uh, Sin's quality has always been okay so uh, let's hope that they improve in their latest release so let's take a look at Superman first you have Superman in his uh, black suit. Got the face printing. Uh, it's okay. Nothing spectacular. Just a normal face print. But the hair is kind of nice. But I don't. Know, I don't think it's Superman's hairstyle. This is okay. Okay, second face print. No, I think this is nice. Yeah, how the eyes actually glows red color. Look at that. The body printing wise, uh, it's just the usual Superman logo and some muscles around here. I I don't think it's really that good. Uh, considering if you watch uh, Superman, his suit actually has some kind of a texture. So they could have actually printed some kind of lines of dots trying to uh, manipulate the, the texturing effect. But they didn't do it, it's just a lazy Superman print. Side arm printing, no side leg printing, no side body printing, just a normal back printing. So I think it's a miss. They, they, they should have given it more details. Uh, this is just very common print. This, the rest of the minifigures for Superman you're getting more or less the same. Muscles and the ass. So they could have enhanced it more. But I do like the cape. You know, plastic cape. Uh, I always like plastic cape more than the, the cloth version. Felt that it can hold its position better. There you go, Superman. It's kind of cool with the plastic cape. Just like the rest of the minifigures, like Doctor Strange, the plastic cape does make him look cooler. Same goes for this. But besides the cape, I think the minifigure is just alright. Uh, nothing spectacular or hoo-ha about it. Off you go. Next, we are going to take a look at uh, Mera. Go Mera. Now Mera does come with some accessories. Which is just some kind of like a energy boat. Or you can say this is actually a water effect. Let's take a look at Mera here. 
and I do think Mera is very well done. You know, uh, I'm kind of impressed with her. Uh, face painting is okay, nothing spectacular, but look at the hair sculpt. The hair piece is very nice. Yeah. Flowing down and the tiara. It's very well done. Oh, just just in case, uh, I'm kind of impressed with the quality. Uh, during assembly, you do need some uh, to exert some extra force to assemble it, but after that, it's kind of very smooth with all the parts, you know. So I never had this experience with Sin. Uh, same goes for other minifigures here. It's actually a very smooth movement, right? So back to Mera here. She comes with a second very loving face print here which I think is kind of cute very nice very nice I'll take off the hair easier to view the very beautiful body print in here this is very very nice very well done with all the skills you know, the Atlanteans armor piece I like how they added those gold lines to bring out the the details of it look at that side arm printing see they even had come some kind of a texture here the dots you know kind of representing the texture in the armor they could have done that with superman but we just decided to go all plain uh, mirror doesn't come with side leg printing or side body printing she does comes with a very beautiful back printing here look at that I'm impressed with mirror same goes for this side let's turn the head back so mirror is very nice doesn't look like the actress but the minifigure itself it's very well done So on the second thought, I was looking at Superman. It does looks like Henry Cavill. I mean the actor. It does have a little bit of resemblance here. <laughs> what do you think? Alright, so uh, back to the review. Uh, let's look at uh, Aqu Aquaman here. So Aquaman comes with his trident. Extended with a a piece of the uh, the hilt from the lightsaber. Okay, look at Aquaman himself. I think this is also very well done. Look at the face printing here. Uh, kind of trying to. Yeah, it does look like uh, a bit like the Aquaman, but it's very well done. I mean, at least they try to follow exactly how the actor looks like. So like the hair piece, the hair piece is, I think uh, this has been very commonly used. Uh, but I like the touch of the light brown here, giving it a little bit of texture. I mean, detailing here, highlighting it. So it does comes with a second face print, a very angry face print here. See that? It's very nice. Uh, body printing wise, just same like Mera. It's very well done. Look at that. You can see the same texture, the same gold color. Uh, very impressive printing. Yeah, very, very impressive. Look at that. Full body printing side body printing side arm printing the aquaman actually has a full body printing very nice look at the back here wow same goes for this side see they actually have all the, the texture the scale of the armor just just kind of unfair, no? Since it's the same armor, how come they're not giving Mera the, the side printing uh, treatment? So it's like they're only using it for the main character. 
else Mera would be superbly excellent just like Aquaman so Aquaman very nice very well done very nice printing Aquaman uh, next we have uh, Batman and this Batman actually comes with one Batarang a common Batarang I look at this Batman um, I just want to declare that this Batman actually is very hideous uh, firstly look at the face printing here it's just so dull I mean even with mask on it looks dull but I like how they try to uh, give it all this kind of look like a What's the actor's name again? Uh, but anyhow, it's just... If you look at that... Ooh, what is that? I mean... Look at the skin printing, it's just so so dull when you, you're standing with all this figuring together that has all this bright colored printing face and all of a sudden you have this, it's like... This actually looks like the the monsters from Justice League more than Batman look at it could this be a, a one of those uh, I've forgotten what you call those monsters from from the show yeah is it disguising as Batman uh, no back face printing so look at the body printing here uh, I think it's just it's just too dark could have added some kind of a lighter tone of grey and some sort but it's okay, I, I, I wouldn't say it's very bad I think it's okay with the gold colored uh, touch around it look at the arm, I think it's okay uh, strangely, it does have a full body printing amazing amazing not sure why Let's remove the cape A full body printing. See, they only use it for main character, but this Batman is so badly done. Uh, the body is nice, but the hate is just hideous. Uh, I like the touch of this utility belt. It's actually a separate piece. It's a very robbery kind of plastic. This is okay. Uh, I think I've seen this before. It's not the first time. So the body is nice. Uh, I'm just not sure why they've given him the flesh tone hands instead of black gloves. Uh, I don't think Batman actually goes out without the gloves. So this is weird. The cape is okay. It's just your uh, normal Batman shaped cape okay it's not really that thin but you have to be very careful uh, I do think it's gonna tear off that's why I prefer the plastic cape uh, body is okay the hand is weird the face is very very ugly even with the mask on no uh, don't understand what's this for they could have used it for Martian Manhunter but just Lacking of effort, this is not good. Next, we have Wonder Woman. Uh, she comes with her shield. Her shield is actually quite nice. Yeah. With all the wordings from uh, from the Amazon. It's a very nice shield, very nicely done. The printing. Uh, she comes with a sword um, and, and this era of minifigure um, most of the time I think they could have given her a very different and a, a show accurate sword rather than just a typical sword so this is just an okay sorry we've been spoiled by a lot of great release and also the uh, lasso of truth 
look at the figure itself. I think it's okay. Uh, the face printing is a very typical, uh, most of the time we've seen uh, use on a lot of uh, Wonder Woman face print. I kind of like the, the forehead print. She comes with a second face printing. Very angry one. Not sure was it mine only? Uh, I think it's kind of like a smirko chip here. You know, like she's missing one part of the mouth. Could be just my figure is having this problem. Uh, the hair is just a normal hair, nothing spectacular. So the body print here. Uh, captures very well of uh, Wonder Woman's armor or costume but I was hoping that all this gold color would be really gold you know not just very dull uh, to actually bring out the, the suit more but this is okay it's an okay print uh, no side body printing but there's side leg printing just makes me think again how come Mera doesn't have a side leg printing as well? Just don't understand that. Uh, side arm printing. Back body printing. Uh, I have kind of like a very smudge or perhaps the skin tone is not really covering the red color piece that well. It's not perfect, but still okay. The, the top here is very well done. You can see the skin color is covering very, very well. But just the, the leg here is having some problems. Singles for sight here. So Wonder Woman. Um, I don't see anything in proof. Uh, previously, I think Sin also re released some of the Wonder Woman's minifigure. It's more or less the same, but it's okay. It's it's a quite a good minifigure. Next we have Flash. So Flash here comes with uh, the same two piece that Mera has, but I don't know why Flash is given this. Normally Flash would be given the the lightning effect let's look at flash himself you can see let's remove his face printing uh, it's okay I don't know who this is just a, a normal flash printing <laughs> Uh, it's okay, not uh, not something that I I would be cheering about. Oops, hang on, head kind of got stuck here. Uh. Okay, finally I managed to turn the head around with the second face print. Uh, I'm not really satisfied with this face printing because you're trying to make a um, a movie version of the minifigure. At least try to give some effort to design the face printing to kind of try to look a bit like the actor, but there's no way near that. I mean, at least Batman he's trying to follow what Ben Affleck here have around the, uh, the the cheek here. You know, all this uh, small uh, beard kind of thing. This is like, I don't know who he is. Uh, but the helmet's nice. The helmet's very nice. See that? I'm not sure if the helmet is actually... From one of the pieces, I, I, I can't remember. It's like a reused piece rather than a newly molded helmet. The 
body printing here. Um, I don't really like it. I don't see any reminiscence of a flash uh, armor or costume. It's like all these lines here is just very messy. And all the small dots. Uh, the same thing here uh, in Justice League movie Flash armor actually also looks to have all this texture and that's not captured at all. See here no side body printing, uh, side leg printing and the arms. I, I really can't get what the white lines are all about. I know they are some kind of white color lines on the armor but it's not like this. This is just messy. Um, back printing. It's okay. So overall, I would say the only thing good about this minifigure is the helmet. Other than that, other stuff is just no, no good. So this is Flash. Go on in the Flash. So next we have uh, Cyborg. Cyborg comes with a gun, a blaster, yep, it blasts very well. He also comes with a mother box, uh, but just sad case why the mother box, they use a white color piece to, to create a mother box. Mother box is like grey or, or silverish. Um, yeah, so I don't really care about this one. So let's look at Cyborg here. This is actually quite well done. Uh, I like the face. But this is just... Yeah, it's okay print. Can't say it looks like the actor, but it's okay. It does have a two-sided print with an angrier face here. So the helmet is okay. Um, I would prefer to have a little bit more hair texture of some sort here. This a little bit smooth, too smooth. Get a helmet. Look at the body printing here. Uh, I was hoping that they actually put in more silver color, but there are none. Because uh, being a cyborg, a robotic, all these metal pieces, uh, they should give him like silver color kind of print rather than just gray. So it doesn't have side leg printing, no side body printing. The back printing he doesn't even have a back leg printing, my god. There you go, it's like body printing. So, alright, never mind. Uh, it does come with a separate helmet for a full closed face, which what I've been waiting for. I think this is nice not superb but it's nice it just makes me want the figure other than that I don't think I'm interested in the figure that much uh, here you have another arm it's like the uh, is it blasting arm gun arm let's try this out oh yep fits in very easily so yeah at least they give you some option So I think this is okay. Uh, Cyborg is okay. It's just lacking some civil color. And also the leg part here is just kind of lazy. There's no back leg printing, no side printing. I was kind of uh, waiting for this figure for quite some time when they announced they're releasing it. But kind of disappointed, you know. I thought it, it would have more uh, civil metallic kind of uh, paint job or printing on it. But 
the full helmet version is still okay. Cyborg. And lastly, we have a Batman again. So this Batman comes with grapple hook gun and another batarang. So let's take a look at this Batman here. Yeah, so I think this the face print suffers the same problem from the, the other Batman, see? It's another imposter. This is not Ben Affleck or any Batman, this is an imposter. Look at that. It really looks like those monsters rather than Batman himself. No back face printing. So this is... Uh, no, I, I, I can't accept this as Batman. Even with mask on. Uh, body printing... Yeah, I, I, I think this is what I've been talking about. If you look at the body printing, you can see there actually some kind of printed texture, which I was hoping Superman would have this same goes with Flash. Look at that. It's like they're not applying everything into one minifigure, they're splitting it out. You know, you get a good face print, you get a good armor print here, but a lousy face print, so I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, sidearm printing is okay. Let's take off the hate. Ugly hate. Okay. Uh, back body printing. See, you can see the the texturing there. It really looks way better. You know? Uh, no side body printing. This is. Oh, I wouldn't say this is a printed side leg. Back leg is printed. Uh, so same as the first Batman, you do get a removable utility belt. It's the same one. So the suit is nice. The suit is at least uh well I think Batman in that show is wearing something similar to this. So at least they they gave it of the simplicity there's some kind of texturing on it. See. So again, um the body is okay. The face is no way. <laughs> Both Batman feel big time. There you have it, uh, another Batman. Okay, so you have seen uh, the review of each of these minifigure, and I have already split them into two groups. The group of three here, it's no good. Uh, totally not sure what they're thinking when they produce the minifigure. But of course, at this price point, you can't complain too much. Uh, like I mentioned, for Batman, the armor is okay. For Flash, only the helmet is good enough. For this side here, uh, Superman is okay. Uh, I'm not, I won't say it's rubbish, but it's okay. With the plastic cape, right? Wonder Moon is normal. Cyborg here, I think, thanks to the. Uh, full helmet version so it makes it okay it's not a bad figure it's just lacking some paint jobs here you know silver silverish kind of paint jobs and printing on the legs other than that it's okay uh, the big winner this two Mera and Aquaman it's so well done it's like they actually put two different teams to work on the minifigures so one team actually worked on this and got this to a high level and the rest all is just okay. But just again, why no side leg and side body printing for Mera could have gotten the same treatment uh, with Aquaman and this is this is surely going to be a superb figure. But as of now, I, I still like it a lot. I think this too is just beautiful, beautiful. So summary if you do not want to pick up the whole set uh, you gotta pick up this too because it's very very well done so there you have it uh, this is the review of uh, since just Jack Snyder's Justice League minifigure uh,
so do do hit the subscribe button to support my channel and i do hope that you enjoy this video um, i'll see you again on my next video then bye bye